Hey Retro Rob here. I've been playing a game called Puss. You said what? Um, yeah, yeah, that's the name of it. And uh, I'm just terrible at it. And uh, I've decided after after looking at my gameplay. It's pretty obvious that the problem is my mouse pad. There's there's absolutely no lighting on it. Uh, it it doesn't look attractive. Uh, therefore, it's it's quite clearly causing problems with my gameplay. So I'm gonna go find a a mouse pad with some lighting on it and uh, see how much better I play. Retro Rob plays everything. Whoa, let me zoom out on that. Hello ladies and germs, today we are going to be unboxing a mouse pad. Yep, running out of crap. No, I'm just kidding, I got a lot of stuff, but this was kind of interesting, so I thought I'd show it to you. Uh, this is by a company called Castle, uh, which is kind of a weird name for a company making mouse pads. But anyway, this one has all of the cool features like blinky lights and such. Basically, my mouse pad actually developed a bald spot <laughs> from use and became unusable. It was much better to work on the table, but you know, tables aren't the greatest gaming surface either. So, hopefully this will improve my game a lot. Likely. Anyway, let's start the unboxing right away. See what's inside here. I'm gonna guess there's a mouse pad. Just saying. All right, we have one manual describing how to uh, how to connect it. Ensure high precision of mouse motion tracking. Reduce friction between mouse and surface. Rubber anti-slip base. Seven color backlight. Well, we'll see how that works. Yes, we're gonna test it. Next, we have a little thank you letter. Well, let's read it. Dear patron. We truly hope this package found you in a timely manner. We dispatched your goods with our best page, Egbert, and gave him our swiftest horse. Our reports indicated there was a huge grumpy dragon who was seen patrolling near the route to your village. Someone in the area had stolen a few pieces of gold from this particular dragon, and as you know, dragons simply detest even the smallest dispossessions of their hordes. Furthermore, when planning the route to your dwelling, we found a number of bridges known to be inhabited by utterly stubborn trolls. We fear for our dear friend Egbert and sincerely apologize if your package arrived singed by dragon flame or battered by an errant troll's club. Jesting aside, your endorsement in our product is greatly appreciated. We give you our assistance. Your coin is valued and will not end up in the king's coffers. It will be put to good use in future castle construction projects that will benefit your working or gaming chambers. The good people of the castle company in Eugene, Oregon are on a quest to defeat the Lords of Industry. Wow. Here we have the mouse pad, which I'll get to in a second, and underneath the tray, of course, we have a cable. Looks like micro USB to USB. Drum roll, please! Wow. All right, so here it is. It's a mouse pad. How much can I say about it? This is kind of interesting because it's got a full rubberized base on the bottom, which will keep it pretty decently on a table. Top surface looks pretty good. The cut's decent. I like this little castle down here. That looks nice. Also, we have an on-off switch and a way to switch the lighting, which means it has no software installed on your system, which you know, I gotta tell you, I get kind of annoyed uh, with every product having a whole bunch of crap to install, so it's kind of nice to see that I don't actually have to install some stinking software for this. I mean, really, installing software for a mouse pad. All right, let's plug it in and take a look at it. The included cable is right around five foot, 10 inches tall. Here's where the USB cord connects. Positive click, I like that. Pressing the on off switch turns this on immediately. However, to turn it back off again, you need to press for about a second. 
You can switch modes by hitting the switch button. Right now it's on breathe mode. This is the chase mode. Red. Green. Blue. Purple, or pink, hard to tell. What is that cyan, they call it cyan. Yellow, which is my wife's favorite color. This is kind of a bluish white, I like this one. And then we're back to breathing. So I tried out the new mouse pad on Puss and uh, my gameplay has gotten better. It it does seem that I'm having an easier time with the levels. Uh, however, I still cannot defeat the first boss. Uh, so I've decided it's obvious that my gaming laptop does not have enough RAM. So I'm just going to get more RAM, I guess. Yep. Definitely the RAM. So the verdict on the Castle Moat mouse pad, I really like it. In fact, I like it better than my Razer mouse pad. The first thing I really like about it is that the cable's detachable. On my Razer, it's permanently attached, so if something happens to the cable, guess what? I'm either going to have to fix the cable or whip it out. What did he say? Uh, and given my time constraints, I'd probably just whip it out. Oh, no. Uh, the second thing I like about it is that I can set it without using software. Uh, that is another problem I have with my Razer. I really don't like installing more and more software on my gaming PC, so if you like not having so much crap loading up in your bottom right hand corner, uh, this is probably a good mouse pad for you. But the third thing that I really like about it is the Surface. The Surface is less rough uh, than the Razer one. That may or may not be to your liking. I found that I really liked it. You can you can just glide the mouse across that surface and it feels just really nice. It almost feels like playing air hockey when you're playing. Uh, so that is really an unusual feel that I've never got out of a mouse pad. And of course the price is insane. It's $15 versus 50 bucks for this. So uh, all things all things considered, I really, I really like it. I think it's a great deal. So uh, enthusiastic for once, thumbs up on this. Who'd have thought that so much could go into a mouse pad? All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.